everybody look. We are rolling. If you're watching the video, you can see that Brendan has completely relapsed. <laughs> I completely <laughs> relapsed. <laughs> Brendan is Brendan is high as a kite right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. I've been up for 72 hours. My eyes are completely bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, I stepped on my glasses and uh, I I, you know, like a dunce in Scooby Doo or I something. I thought you sat on them. I no, I stepped on them. Oh, okay, they were on my bed and then I I jumped. Uh, up onto my bed to close the window, and I just like snapped the <laughs> arm off. Of them. That's actually less. That's, that's less reasonable than sitting on. Yeah, them. That's so yeah. If they're on your bed, you'd expect that you'd sit on. Them. You would expect. <laughs> if Brendan sat on his glasses, it'd be really bad. There would just be a yeah. fine dust left behind. <laughs> my ass would be like a uh, stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, that is such a fuck. I'm sorry, mm. but it's so funny. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like it's exactly what I would expect to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, I broke my glasses, so the only glasses I have are my prescription sunglasses, which I now have to wear all the time until I get my new glasses. I mean, you look like a pretty cool yeah. guy. Which I also like, you know, I'm on, I'm on unemployment, so I'm not trying to, like, go spend hundreds of dollars on glasses. So I, I went online, I bought the cheapest possible glasses that I could to replace them, because I don't even know if, like, the prescription that I have in my, like, saved in my phone is even right. Right. So I got $6 glasses, which at that price range... Only how pa- that uh, can't even be real. There's no way. Well, it's the, work. the frames were six dollars. The lenses were like thirty on top. Oh, okay, of that. But like, right, okay, yeah. Okay. But I got six dollar frames, <laughs> which at that price is price you are limited to only pedophile options. <laughs> well, <laughs> wow! I just realized our conception of pedophiles must be classist. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're right. This glasses always that that doesn't seem. You're right. right. You're right. Because think of all the pedophile stereotypes, like the rich pedophiles. They probably send someone else out in the van to get them for them. They're yeah, not out there. J- Jeffrey Epstein, he doesn't look anything like our idea of a pedophile. He's <laughs> no. Suave, he Unless you're very suit. anti-Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> but yeah, you think of a pedophile, he's like, he's balding, he's got the, the glasses with the two connectors <laughs> up top, they're like gold, they look kind of shitty. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's got like a wife beater on or something bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's classist. <laughs> Dude, wow. Yeah, leftist. damn. Canceled. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the glasses price is always because I, I've never had glasses. I've got mm-hmm. like t- very, I've, I've got like 2015 vision, like very good vision. But like whenever I found out that like you have to, p- I realized like people who are like nearsighted are like, it's like they're playing like the free to play version of life where they're like, in, if you like, if you want to see, there's an in app purchase. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you've got to like download this DLC <laughs> to be able to see your mother's face. Well, I, <laughs> I, Damn. I, did, I just did the opposite of, I just bought glasses from. Warby Parker, uh, which is like I guess sort of bougie compared yeah. to six dollar. I thought I always assume like I remember when they launched, I thought that their whole thing was that like we're cheaper because we're online. That's what I. But thought. I guess now they're like a, a hip designer <sighs> thing. Uh, yeah, man, I they fucking had me over a barrel because I did the thing where like they send you five frames to try them on at home. Mm-hmm. Of those five, one of them looked okay, so I was like. All right, sure, we'll go with that one. And I bought him, and I gave him the money, and then they're like, all right, we need you to do a couple more things for us. We need you to measure your PD, your pupil distance or whatever. And Mm -hmm. to do that, you send us a photo of you holding a credit card up to your face with a magnetic stripe visible, and we'll measure it for you. <laughs> this doesn't sound medical at all. It's scientific, Nick. There's it's, no way. Every Zenny Optical card. also had me do that, and I was like, I I held it up, and I was like, wait a minute, and then I got like like a used gift card and held that up. Nice, I was like, this nice. feels like a trick. Oh yeah, getting a picture of my stupid face with my credit card on the forehead. <laughs> Didn't just, even consider. I sent them. No it just. Lie. I yeah. sent them. 15 versions of that photo before they accepted it. They were just like, nope, you're too far away. Now you're too close. Uh Uh-oh, the lighting's not right. I'm just like, just, I, if you give me a ruler, I'll measure it for you. (laughs) No, to me, to me, it just, it felt like a Nigerian scammer, like bet with his buddy. Like, I bet they can, I bet I can get them in the picture with the car. (laughs) Yeah. So that took forever. And then Uh I sent them my prescription. It took me a while to get that from my eye doctor. And they were like, oh, it says here you have bifocals. Do you still want bifocals? Because that would be like an additional $150. Oh, shit. I never noticed you have bifocals. And I was like... How on brand? Uh, sure. Yeah, fine. I'll do the bifocals. They're like, and you still want the you the blue light canceling? I'm like, yeah, fine. And what were, were like under $200 glasses are now like $350. And every time I'm just like, yeah, fine. Just... I'll pay it. Just send me the fucking glasses. I don't care. These yeah. better last. These glasses have lasted over a decade. If, mm-hmm. if they last that long, it's a good investment. Uh, and they, they were like, huh, okay, sure. <laughs> so Damn, I, don't, dude. I don't know. They probably what, won't last that long. Yeah, I don't. I don't. 
those must just be rock solid. Because, I mean, you've told stories before. Women have thrown those glasses out of windows. Yes, <laughs> yes. These glasses have thro- survived a, a two-story fall out of an apartment where I had to... I, I went out there blindly. I mean, should I tell the whole story to oh, make, yeah, yeah. Have make sense of this? Have we told it on the show? We never told oh, it also, we're here with Isaac Hirsch, by the way. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah. You guys know Isaac. You love yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah let, dude, let's hear this story. Okay, so uh, I went on a date. I met this girl on OkCupid, okay mm-hmm. and it was crazy. She suggested we go to this very hip bar in L.A., and I, I show up, and she's late. She shows up, and it's the damnedest thing because she is hotter than her pictures, which never happens in online dating. Yeah. I've gotten that a couple times, and it's always wild. And actually, there might be a correlation because that girl was also very mentally ill. Yes. Right. Yeah. This girl had one photo, wasn't in focus, couldn't really tell. It was one of those things where I'm just like, ah, whatever. Sure, I'll fucking roll the dice. And mm. she shows up. She is like model pretty. She's mm-hmm. extremely attractive. I'm just like, oh, well, she's going to realize she made a mistake yeah. immediately. And Same instead, with the girl I was talking about, where like I saw her like exiting like the subway, and I'm just like, oh, I'm not going to pull this one off. <laughs> <laughs> and instead, we got along. We hit it off the first night. I was like, wow, this is great. And then she's like, do you want to go back to your place? And I was like, I thought for a second, because at this time I lived in South Central with right. Nick with an air mattress. And I was just like, how about your place? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I, dude I, wish, I wish that you had brought her back, because I knew that if I saw her, at that point in time, if I had saw you come in with her, I would have just been steamed mad. I would be, <laughs> I'd be like slamming doors. <laughs> Just be using the bath, like taking a shower at 2 a.m. pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, single Nick does hate when other people get pussy. It's not allowed. Don't, don't worry. There, there would be no pussy being gotten at any point in the story. So we go back to her place. It's a studio apartment. And then she's like, just so you know, we're not going to be having sex tonight. I'm like, I'm just happy to be here. Let's, that's fine. So we just slept in the same bed all night. I got to touch her boobs a little bit. That was about yeah. as far as it went. Nice. And that then, is so wild to me. I can't imagine like... Like as a as a woman sleeping next to a man sounds more dangerous than fucking him. Well, I mean, okay. To be fair, it's him. I'm, yeah. putting, I'm, I'm not putting off dangerous vibes right. here. Yeah. Like this woman immediately invited me back to her place. She knew I was harmless, and eh, maybe that comes into play later. Uh, so anyway, I, I I drive home and I call my I love, friend. I just love the image of Isaac politely sleeping in bed next to a statuesque black queen. Yes, we should, we should mention this. This is a black woman. Uh, but I, I call my friend to which like, okay, decide. Amongst yourselves, uh, if is, that's relevant. Let me tell you something. Story. This is the exact kind of guy that hot black women love. They're it, all about this. They, they it do, seems true. It seems to be true. Which I, I you know, I, I will say in my life I have never capitalized on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, anyway, I drive home. I'm just like, okay, it's got to be that mm-hmm. just like white guys look the same to her, and yeah. that she can't tell if I'm hot or not. Well, Isaac, you kind of fuck like a panda. Where like, if it's just like presented to you, you're like, oh no. Like <laughs> the settings need to be absolutely perfect. Well, I mean, yes, you have to. You really have to walk me through the whole right pussy getting process. Yeah, as, yeah. There as have to the be scientists holder. dressed as you, trying to like trick you and lead you in. <laughs> Look, I'm having sex, and I'm you. I'm like, but how did you do it? They're like, come with me. I'm like, I don't trust you. It's funny how many like gorgeous women. Just like straight up like nine out of ten, ten out of ten women have like hollered at Isaac for the dick in person, <laughs> online. Well, yeah. we, Facebook statuses were posted about how much they wanted to fuck him. We we disagree about how, how serious these hollers were. Isaac, mm. these Isaac, let me as somebody I've observed many hollers. I've been yeah. hollered at, I've seen other people be hollered at. These were legitimate hollers that you mm-hmm. were like mm-hmm. you're like literally people are posting statuses just like, does anybody else think Isaac Hirsch is really hot? And you're like, that could mean anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we won't name names, but Isaac like a B-list celebrity tried to fuck you. Yeah, well, maybe she gave me her phone number, but that could have meant anything. Yeah. Uh, could have meant anything. It could have meant anything. I don't know. This is a like, yeah. This is a lady. You're not supposed. I'll put it like this. You're, you're not supposed to have her phone number. You are absolutely are not. Not just anybody is supposed to. Have if you her do, phone you're going to get calls from like an agency being like, "How did you get that?" <laughs> well, I, you know, I, we don't know if it's her phone number because she never responded because I texted the wrong number the next day. And then yeah. the day after that, I realized I texted the wrong number and texted mm-hmm. the right number. But the, 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 the moment. Yeah, you were supposed to text her that night. I think you, you don't you don't give a woman like that time what? to reconsider. Well, you don't you don't want to you don't want to appear too eager. <laughs> no, you, no, you, because you have to you have to get you have got to hit her back in the window where she's still affected by the ketamine that she just bumped yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Flappers Comedy Club. You've got to capitalize mm. on that. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> anyway, uh, back, to, back to this beautiful black woman. We go on uh-huh. a second date. Not as good. Uh, I pick the place, and I'm still new to L.A., and I just pick a random kind of cheap sushi place, and she's put off by it. Mm-hmm. And we're overdressed for this cheap sushi place, and she has me drive her home. And uh, it's just like, clearly, I blow, I blow, I've blown it. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. no. But then when I'm driving her home, she's like, what's your biggest sexual fantasy? Out of nowhere, completely out of the blue. I'm like... <laughs> shower sex. I, I just tried to think of a thing That's, that was like unusual. What? <laughs> shower sex. <laughs> the type of sex that's famously no good. It's not. It's a bad kind of I, sex. I know. Sh- but Isaac, shower sex have, is for I the movies. Had yeah. You had never but, had it before? I had never had shower sex. She said, what's your biggest fantasy? I said, uh, what's something that seems doable, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. is not, it won't make me seem weird. Right. And I, I went with shower sex, and she thought that was really lame. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> and then I, I was like, well, what's your big, what's your biggest sexual fantasy? So she's like, it's to have sex on a movie set, and I've already done it. I was like, well, I certainly can't do that for you anyway. So. Jesus. <laughs> so anyway, I drive her home, and I'm like, that's the end of it. Mm-hmm. And then that weekend, she fucking, we start texting again, and she's like, do you want to, I'm at a bar right now, but I'll be home soon. Do you want to come over? I'm like, I think this means sex. I think this we're going to have sex. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be over there. And so I show up. She shows up, she gets out of her Uber, and we're going up the stairs to her studio, and the energy is not flirty. I thought it'd be flirty, and the energy is instead menacing. It's like she keeps, <laughs> <laughs> she keeps like looking back at me, but not in like a, flir- a furtive way, just sort of like in a... Mm-hmm. Like a, <laughs> more of like an, a serious way. More of like an ex machina vibe. Of yeah, come to my home, yeah. and she's like, <laughs> "Come to my home, and we'll see what happens." Yeah, I she's mean, yeah, <laughs> she's drunk, but not so drunk that I'd be like, "I'm uncomfortable with doing this." She right. just seems like mm-hmm. a, a little tipsy. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And so it's like, okay, so we get up to her studio apartment, and then she's just like, "Listen, our last day was bad and unacceptable, and if you think it's okay, you need to leave right now." And I was like. Oh, okay. I can leave. You didn't need to bring me here to tell me that though. I could, I know it's bad. And she's like, wait, no, don't go. I'm like, okay. (laughs) It is funny how, like how many chances, like any, like certainly me, but like how many chances you'll give, like, I think I could still turn this around and get some pussy. Oh my God. Well, she does have a knife to my dog's head, but (laughs) literally exactly what happens here. Multiple times. It's just like, even, even I'm like, I should probably go, but I could have sex with this woman and this would be by far the hottest woman I've ever slept with. Mm -hmm. So like, it just, the conversation gets weird. She starts asking me a bunch of incoherent questions where she's like, you know, like, well, how do you see yourself? I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> she's like, I mean, You're like interviewing for the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I really was. Man, this rules. So just imagine being like, like a hot girl out at a bar, you get kind of tipsy and you're like, you know what I want to do tonight is just completely destroy a man's conception of himself. Absolutely. <laughs> I want to NPR a man before. I- <laughs> if, if I, I'll tell you what, dude, if I had that ability, I would absolutely, Absolutely, take advantage of it. Oh, for sure, it's so fun. I get it, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know how to handle it. Uh, mm-hmm. So I was just sort of like, "What? Well, what do you mean by that?" And she's like, "Like, how do you see yourself?" I'm like, oh, you know, I'd like to think I'm funny and smart." She goes, oh, "That's a bad answer." I'm like, "Okay, well, I'm just, I'm, I'm giving my, I'm giving it my best shot here." And then uh, she's like, "She like is making fun of me." She's like, "What's, what's your biggest sexual fantasy? Shower sex?" She goes. That's so lame. I'm like, okay, yeah, I know. We we went over how it's lame. She goes, but take some initiative. Take your clothes off and go and turn on the shower right now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I stripped, I stripped my underwear because I'm like, don't fully trust this situation. Yeah. Not getting fully nude yet. <laughs> right. The, the, there will be a smart. Co- there will be a, there will be a complete imbalance here if I am fully nude and she is <laughs> fully clothed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust that. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's what you just pounce like. You you should never let your guard down. Yeah, that yeah. is very much like if you were like a cowboy dueling and you just throw your gun somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep my underwear on. I'm like I'm starting to go to the bathroom. She's like, wait. Why should I have sex with you? I'm like, this again? (laughs) (laughs) This again? I don't know how to pitch you on this. I'm like, you shouldn't. I I just thought you would for some reason. (laughs) Eventually, the answer I settled on was like, okay, other women have done it before and they said it was good. (laughs) And she's like, oh, the white girls you fucked missionary. And I was like, I shouldn't have told you that. That was... (laughs) I overshared. You really gave her some ammo there. And I was like, yes... (laughs) 
And she's like, listen. I love that she was building a dossier of like every, like, the, like it was all culminating in this we, night, We Isaac. were bamboozled, Nick. We were, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were hoodwinked. We were. Uh, and so she's she's like, listen. She definitely has like a Dexter style, like collection of trophies of just dorks she's bullied. I mean, it's not, I don't even think it was that. I, I mean, <laughs> so I, 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 I'm like, she goes, listen. Like, I'm beautiful, like, my face is perfect, and my body's a 10, and you are, like, this. What are we going to do about this? I'm like, what are we going to, what are we going to do about this? Uh, <laughs> and still at no point are you like, I'm being insulted, I should leave, well, which I, I understand. Hang on, again, I'm like, I'm like, I, I can stick this out. I'm like, <laughs> she's going to berate me a lot, and yeah. then we're going to have... And also, you don't want to... Sometimes you got to get hazed to get some pussy. It's not your place. This is a teachable moment. You don't want to white splain yourself to a POC. Ex exactly. It, it's, might be, it's a completely fair <laughs> assessment. She's earned this. Yeah, so i Based I'm, on inherited trauma, she's allowed to do this. I'm like, this is... You know, I haven't been on a lot of third dates. Maybe this is just what the third date is. Uh, and so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the third day, then is like measure your penis. Here's a ruler. <laughs> and finally, I'm just like, I, you know, I'm going to the gym. She's like, oh, you're going to the gym with your Taco Bell. I'm like, I didn't even say anything about Taco. Bell. What are you talking about? <laughs> And at this, and she was <laughs> conducting recon on you because she yeah, also yeah. got you dead to rights. By the way, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. at this point, I'm even. I'm like, okay. I think I'm maybe maybe I should go, and she's like, "Don't go." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> well, she asked me not to go. I might I might still have sex, and then she's like, "Can I try on your glasses?" I'm like, "Sure." <laughs> this is at least not immediately berating me, so I will happily change subjects. This here. is Isaac. She is playing with her food, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so she tries on the glasses. Mm -hmm. She like does a little cute pose with him. I'm like, ah, cute. And then she goes into her kitchen and then comes back without the glasses on. And I'm like, oh, could I have my glasses back? She goes, what, you need your glasses that badly? I'm like, yes, I need them to see. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do in fact need them that badly. She goes, I don't have your glasses. I'm like, oh no, yeah, you do. You just walked into the kitchen <laughs> with them. I know you just probably put them there in the kitchen. She goes, I don't have your glasses. You need to leave. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I need to leave. And I start getting my clothes on as fast as I can. She's like, no, no, fuck your shoes. Leave your shoes. You need to leave. And this is the this is the moment in the story where I stand up for myself. I go, no, I'm going to put my shoes on. You can't tell me to leave without my shoes. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And so I put my shoes on and then I'm like fully dressed except for my jacket, which is on the other side of the room. And I go, all right, I don't want to like, Call, I don't want to do anything, but can you please just give me my glasses back? I don't want to call the cops or whatever. She's like, I don't have your glasses. And you know what? And she walks into the kitchen, opens her apartment window and throws my glasses out my, her window. And I go, did you just throw my glasses out your window? She goes, yes. I go, okay. And then I go and grab my coat. <laughs> now I'm just hearing in Bill Burr's voice like, oh, there's no reason to hit a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, grab, I grab my coat, which has my, like, my keys and my phone in it. And she's like, that's mine. You're stealing from me i'm like no no this is my grandfather's jacket i am this is mine <laughs> i'm leaving and she goes you're stealing from me i'm calling the fbi and i go the fbi <laughs> <laughs> and then she slams the door in my face Dude, it's just what a sick threat <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> this is a matter of national intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> and I, there's a surveillance van parked outside. <laughs> I'm just sitting in her apartment hallway without my glasses, just like, I don't know what to do in this situation. I've never <laughs> even thought about a situation that remotely resembles this. Right. And I literally just like, I, I exit her apartment. I just like stand outside her apartment for like a minute. And then I'm just like, I guess I should try and find my glasses. And I go out to her parking lot. It's fucking dark. I can't see. So I'm just like crawling around on my hands and knees. <laughs> and finally, after like five minutes, I find a lens. I'm like, hey, an intact lens. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Doing pretty good. Everything's coming up Isaac. <laughs> I, can, I can use this to look for the other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I use the other lens and I find the other lens. And then finally I find the frames and the frames are fucked. They're pretty, mm -hmm, they're sure. pretty bent up. And so I pop 
one of the frames is okay. I pop one of the lenses into one of the frames. The other one's too fucked to do anything with. Uh-huh. And I just drive home one eyed, like with an eye closed, because it's like that's better than not seeing, because that's going to confuse me. Right. Yeah. And the entire time she's calling my phone and like just relentlessly just calling me over and over again. And she leaves me one voicemail, which is her speaking to an unknown man, going, "I've been robbed." <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, what? And she's like, I've been robbed. <laughs> and it sounds like she's talking to like maybe an Uber Eats driver or something. It's not a cop for sure. And that's why the guy's like, what? <laughs> and that is the last time I ever saw or spoke to this woman ever again. Mm-hmm. I, and like for a week, and Nick can attest to this, I came home, I was just like, I think the cops are going to be looking for me. <laughs> I remember, yeah, you showed, because you showed up in like the, it was, it was like the middle of the night. Yeah. I was, I was uh, awake and you staggered in and I was like. <laughs> you show up to your house in South Central, put the key in, and then just like a spotlight from a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Isaac, this is the FBI. to a woman? tonight. <laughs> Isaac Hirsch, you're under arrest for bothering a beautiful black queen. <laughs> Put your hands where we can see them. You did not properly explain why she should fuck you. You did a poor job. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Isaac, yeah. Isaac Hirsch, you're under arrest for wanting to have shower sex. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail for a hundred years, you fucking nerd. <laughs> and, and anyway, We're sending you to a maximum security federal penitentiary where you will be having shower sex. <laughs> Wish granted, bitch. <laughs> I guess he's going to be getting a different kind of Taco Bell in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when you came home. It was fucking crazy. I was yeah. I told you the story. I was just like I was just like rapidly recounting the story, and, and I was so nervous about the police. And after like a week, I calmed down. Where I'm like, all right, I guess I'm. I guess there's no warrant out for my arrest for <laughs> robbing her. <laughs> and then and then like a year later, I was just like. Oh, that was a really funny thing that happened. Yeah. And like at the time it was scary. And like also she could have killed me. Like she could have mm-hmm. easily overpowered me and killed me. Dude, why well, because I remember I was <laughs> she, she would have been like actively shooting you and you're like, well maybe I could still have sex. Maybe I still have sex. <laughs> at, least, at least head. Maybe. <laughs> I was, I was, maybe I was, get it. I was in the kitchen and like so Isaac comes home, he tells me and like at this point I've like been through something similar in my life. So Isaac he's just like standing there. He's like, Yeah, and then she threatened to like call the FBI. I mean, I was in the fridge, she's like, Yeah, they do that that sometimes <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah nick was just like oh this is classic borderline dude yeah. she's drunk it exacerbates her yeah. symptoms like she's she's mentally ill and i'm like but i had never you know dated anyone mentally ill so it's just like no that doesn't she wasn't behaving rationally at all mm-hmm. that doesn't make sense and he's like yeah that's, <laughs> that's what it is it was a, it was like a textbook uh borderline encounter yeah. But yeah, I, here's where you and I are different. I w- you left and didn't answer the phone. Dude, even if I left the minute she called me, I would have made a U-turn. <laughs> She's like, I put these back on the table, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and any, anyway this is this is these are those glasses so <laughs> warby parker could never they won't Damn, dude, yeah. that's that's sick that she had sex on a film dude you should we... do a commercial for armani exchange <laughs> <laughs> yeah armani exchange are you dating dangerous women <laughs> i want to i want to just like watch movies now and see if i can see her fucking in the background like that <laughs> midget and wizard of oz <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> You got to go back to her house, but this time just wearing rec specs. Like, try to break these, bitch. <laughs> I just show up, like, dressed for a basket. I have a headband. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, you should show back up at her place. Uh, I, I <laughs> thankfully don't remember where. I, I think she said she was going to, at one point we were talking, she was like, I want to leave California. I want to move to, like, Florida or something. So, like, but borderline uh, women are always saying they're going to move, and they never do. Oh, yeah. So, uh, New Orleans, mm-hmm. Austin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, anyway. they're always going to be there bothering you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you're the one who has to move. Got Bianca, me. if you're out there. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I'm so I'm frightened. Well, of that you. makes sense because everybody who listens to Coward Hour is a beautiful black queen. Well, there's a couple. That's why my episodes pop off so much. <laughs> it's really true, dude. Yeah, the audience is all masturbating to them, so the, the, and I'm just the like, views get high. And I'm just I'm watching the masturbate like, eh, but they don't really like. They don't want to fuck me, <laughs> dude. Th- the most attention I ever got from black women was when you could see my ribs. The minute you can't see your ribs anymore, they have want nothing to do with a white boy. Where are you going with this? What do you mean? No, stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, what does this mean? <laughs> Brendan, put it together. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll move on. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to frame Isaac for making the one racist joke of his entire oh, career. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were making... I wasn't even... No, I won't. I got it now. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you connected those dots. Okay, it's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. It's, it's so... I, Nick and I have been in long debates about women, uh, whether or not women have wanted to fuck me. And I, I generally come down on the side of, of they, they didn't. Literally. All, even all the times that they look you in the eye and say they, and, they will have sex. And ask you. Isaac, would you? That's only happened a couple times. And, <laughs> you know, they, they're, Most people, that happens zero times. They're, 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 there's very poor follow through on their part. Like, <laughs> I remember I did I did Kill Tony once, which, <laughs> I, you know, yeah, yeah. RIP. But uh, <laughs> I did Kill Tony once. I just like talked about sex for 20 minutes and then this lady mm-hmm. who was like pretty attractive was just like I'll have sex with you because yeah. that's was, all that's all Tony Hinchliffe can really do is he's like all right uh and he checks his notepad and he's like accuse him of coming quick your all dick right. is it is it there's something wrong with it and I'm like ah you fucking got yeah me. it's like <laughs> it's like who are you Terry Gross this is a great interview <laughs> Yeah, you got right to the heart of things huh uh, <laughs> yeah but you did this set about having sex and like straight up at the comedy store up a- a cu- but there are a couple things. One, mm-hmm. I was with Shane Smith, and Shane, who was recently on the podcast, fantastic wingman, very mm-hmm. good at having sex himself, and even it's like a, a you know transit transitory. He can make you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Shane's one of the all time guys ever. He's one. Of, he's the greatest dude. Yeah, he's really he's really good at uh, fucking. Hopefully, I'm not blowing up his spot. I don't think I, I don't think that is. <laughs> no, I, he he'll tell you that. <laughs> he'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, pretty he, sure he told us that. He was like he was he was trying to lubricate this conversation. He's like, yeah, I'd, I'd have sex with him. I'm like. Oh, that's cool. He's like, hey, maybe you should get her number. <laughs> so I was like, okay, yeah, you want to get... So we exchanged numbers and I texted her and I was like, what are you doing this weekend? She's like, mm, I might be free. I'm like, cool, well, hit me up if you are. And then we never had sex. No, Isaac, I you're, up yeah, you're, twice. you're supposed to make the... You're supposed to yeah. say, let's do this. Are you doing yeah. this day? Well, let's go for a drink. Isaac, the I tried, squanderer, dude. I tried, I tried to, to nail down. I was like, Saturday, is Saturday good? You got like no, not you, this week. You can't put it to them. You got to be you like. You should have just just went to an open mic at Flappers and been like, "Hey, what are you doing after this?" I didn't, you know where that girl know, is. I didn't yeah. know she was a comedian at the time. This was like way before that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, mm-hmm. it's been a. I mean, it's look, man. It's been an incredible. You sell yourself so short. It's been an incredible through line, and you're in, like since you moved to Los Angeles, like more. If it's happened more than once, I think it's happened like f- at least I, I can count on one hand how many times women have thrown themselves at you to fuck them, mm-hmm. and you're like, what could they possibly mean? <laughs> Throwing themselves is such a strong word. I don't think that, they, I, that's yeah. literally what I would describe it as happening. You know, I, <laughs> I yeah, I, Isaac. Like women are just like, do you want to fuck? And then it's just that meme where the woman is like confused with math over her. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was taught as a, a young man to respect women, but what they they didn't teach me was how to navigate to sex. Right, mm-hmm. I could get to the point where like I'm talking to a woman and you know I'm making her laugh, and mm-hmm. then you know at, at a certain point I think she's expecting me to navigate it towards sex, and I don't know how to do that. Right, you can't. I, I honestly don't. I share that. I have never been able to flirt. To the point where, like, like with my girlfriend, after our first date, when I asked her for a second, she was like confused because she thought that I did not like her. Actually, the, exa- the exact same thing happened with my girlfriend. She was like, "I'm." I, she came away from the first date like, "Okay, sure, I, he wants to have a second date. All right, fine." Yeah, because you guys probably just got on like platonic friends. Yeah, that's yeah, how we, I talked. We, nice, <laughs> we had a nice conversation. That's always been my move: is like just, just talk to her like she's a dude, and then at some point throw a wild curveball. <laughs> I showed up. Uh, you guys to, are so interesting. <laughs> I showed up to Starbucks in the middle of autumn, wearing a, a large winter coat, and then I immediately perched on the seat, <laughs> just putting all my cards on the table, and then I just sat like this and I talked to her, and she just thought I. She she said your body language was very closed off. I couldn't tell mm-hmm. you were interested in me. I'm like, yeah, yeah. oh, this, this, your, your oh, which, body language let's, were uh, wrong. Let's give the, the people at home a, exactly what they a want. Feel of how Isaac always sits. Yeah, you know it's comfortable. Uh, <laughs> That's that's all it is. That's just his little fat. That's his manner of being. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> it's not closed off. You know, I'm just uh, n- no man is an island, and then <laughs> except for except for you when you except for me you when make I do yourself this. an island. Yeah. You just you sit on a bar stool. Well, yeah. Yeah. and everybody says, well, "What's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> I remember this was the, the dumb one of the dumbest thoughts I had. I did 
stand up in Baltimore like that once, like sitting on a stool like this. And I was just like, this, <laughs> this like, will, yeah, this will be what sets I'm me Patrice. apart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, this, I'm going to be the, this, the fucking vulture stool sitting guy. <laughs> and everyone's going to know who I am. <laughs> and thankfully I abandoned that immediately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, I love it. Watching like a Cosby special and you're like, I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can sit in a chair exactly like that. I mean, you should just fucking full on. You should do it like perched from like the rafters of the theater. Like, you <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, who's doing comedy? And I'm like, yeah. Here. yeah, there's no lights on you. You're up there with a with a cordless mic, and everyone in the crowd is just <laughs> scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very thin. Yeah. Oh, speaking of body dimensions, I just want to take a moment to talk about our sponsor, Under 510. Go okay. ahead. Mm-hmm. Under 510 is a, uh, go to under510.com. They're a great company. They make clothing for short men or below average sized men. So like me, I'm a fat, short weirdo, and I look like shit and everything but under 510. Mm-hmm. They have all kinds of great shit. I have jeans from them. Uh, they have dress pants. They even have like suits, great shirts. Uh, they have some jackets, hoodies, pretty much everything. Because if you're a short man, if you're under 510, you've probably spent your whole life wearing clothes that don't fit. and You don't even know. Right. Yeah. Preach, preach, brother. Look, mm-hmm. I have I have clothing issues too. Yeah, yeah. They need, they need to have a, a, a sister company under 125 <laughs> <laughs> for tall, lanky men who can't find yeah, pants yeah. that have their exact like fucking 28 by 34 <laughs> dimensions. <laughs> yeah, their sister company is a fucking food delivery service. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but go to under510.com. You can sign up for their text alerts. Uh, I believe you'll get a $10 coupon. Uh, their shit rules. I love it. Um, so, yeah, go to under510.com. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, damn, I had something to say. I completely got sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, we were talking about fucking in LA. Mm-hmm. Women, Isaac the Squanderer. Yeah, okay. First on a stool. Fuck, man. I had something to say about you, but I can't remember. That's okay. I'd, I, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was, I, was, I, was trying, I was trying to remember more of our like uh, more of our foibles and follies when we were living in that house. Mm-hmm. That was a great house. Dude, yeah. I visited that house once and it was it was a great time it gave you a really i completely wasted a vacation LA. to la just <laughs> hanging out <laughs> no it was great dude it was great but like, <laughs> i guess we didn't do it well no we did we went to the chinese theater yeah yeah, yeah, we yeah. well what what, what happened was like so I, I i went there i didn't rent a car and i was just like i'll just uber everywhere and then every uber was like 60 bucks so i was like oh, i guess i'll just not do anything <laughs> right but yeah. brennan, brennan was like man la is great sean preston lives on your couch you just hang out all day you don't have to work at a bank all day and then yeah. brennan moved here and it turns out you do have to work at a bank yeah all yeah day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i showed up i was like man nick hasn't gone to work the whole week i bet it is awesome living here <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's like I was able to really present the very best side of myself. <laughs> we, we, we do that a lot. Like, people will visit LA and be like, man, I got to move out here. I'm like, uh oh, we did too good a job. We, don't, <laughs> we may be getting an unrealistic picture of how mm-hmm. things are. Yeah. My yeah. mom is actually uh, visiting me this week for the first time. Whoa. And it's going to be funny because, like, she's coming out, like, oh, let's see my son. He's probably been doing so well getting getting along in his adult life. She's and I just have no this. glasses. Yeah, you, just, you, just, you answer the door completely blacked out shades. Yeah, but beard blacked longer out. than it's ever been. Yeah. <laughs> just looking complete shit. And then I'm going to be like, oh, it's night, so I actually need you to drive. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see you with these. <laughs> my girlfriend is so upset with me that I broke my glasses for my mom's trip. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she care? <laughs> she, she makes it. You make it sound like it's a, you intentionally did. I broke my glasses for my mom. No, so, I want mommy to drive me. <laughs> no, she's just mad. She's just like, this is so ridiculous. You can't. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but honestly, this is was... awesome. I, I, yeah, you were you, before you were comparing me to like I look like Mulaney on Seth Meyers. Yeah, like, you look like coked out Mulaney right before mm-hmm. he went to rehab. Yeah, you look like the fucking Netflix Daredevil guy, uh, but. But fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, earlier someone in the in the group chat to own me, they posted like the poster for Joaquin I'm not Phoenix. here. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And I, I realized I do look like Joaquin in that movie if you stretched him horizontally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone was making the poster and they just fucked up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, is, I don't know. There's shit. something really exciting about looking bad for some reason to me recently. 
I, you I have, think it's it. Honestly, you've been here before, Brendan. Yeah, yeah. You've you're like a pregnant woman. You've forgotten how 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 bad it is when your body goes through this transformation. <laughs> you're ready to do it again. Yeah. No, I think it's just like it's like a. I think I'm going through like a mental thing where it's like I am really trying to lean into not having to work at a bank again. There wait, are, there there are, are other wait, ways wait, wait, to wait. do that. Ex- yeah. ex- ex- but even explain what that is. It's like try- I've had, you know, like my whole life I've had to like look presentable and like look like a guy who works at a bank. And before that, I was a child, so my dad would just make me get haircuts all the time. So now, so, okay. Yeah. Do you, do you think so now that- I'm like, well, oh, I'm like 30 and this is the first time in my life that I've ever had the freedom to look like so you just So you just go into the bathroom, look at yourself fatter than ever with a full beard and sunglasses and be like, I'm a child again. <laughs> Final, a return to the womb. <laughs> Brennan, do you think that fat people don't work at banks? Yeah, also, you, okay. You work at I need, I need to it. specify that the, the me getting fat was not a deliberate bit. That part was accidental. <laughs> It's also, by the way, it's not just a symbol that you can't work at a bank again. It's really it's, any job. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's just, you know, I, I want, I, I don't know. There's something. No, I get Yeah, I, something I, I, freeing about being like, I'm my own man. No right. one can make me do anything. Well, I mean, I've, talking I've been, to the, you're talking to somebody who understands this. Believe yeah, yeah. me. Even even fucking office drones like me though, we've had some degree of that this past year. We're working mm-hmm. remotely. We're working from home. We don't have to fucking wear pants if we don't want to. You know, so yeah. I I get it on some level, but at the same time, it's like, is that really why you're doing this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I also I, I honestly, I'm sure everybody disagrees with me, but honestly, I think I look, <laughs> I think I think it looks cool for me to look like this. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big giant beard. <laughs> Brendan's fucking like buttons pop off his shirt. He's like, actually, it's good. This is yeah. like, this is sick. <laughs> Brendan's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, you guys don't get it now, but this will be really cool in five years. <laughs> your your we, kids, are yeah, I'm, I'm just <laughs> dead. Yeah, like hard cut to him flatlining in the hospital. <laughs> the doctor's like, he just kept getting fatter yeah, yeah. and fatter for five years. I think yeah, you're onto something. Because I, I was wearing a t-shirt with with. A cartoon of Jerry Garcia on it. My girlfriend pointed at it and she said, "Is that you?" And I was like, "It is so dangerous for you to have said that to me." Dude, it would be so. I, it would be so funny if you doubled down and started printing Fat Brendan merch. <laughs> like, I was just like, he's really trying to make Fat Brendan happen. <laughs> well, I kind of did. Like the the poster for the Auto Bar show. Like you showed it to me, and it looked sick. But I was like. You can tell him that he can draw me fat. <laughs> yeah, he drew you really. He drew you like skinny and hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just suddenly starts only doing John Panette bits. He's just like <laughs> the buffet. It always runs out. Am I right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't do ups. I do downs. <laughs> I'll sit down. I'll lay down. I'll wolf it down. <laughs> you should do. You need to start doing food material. Yeah, do that yeah. at the auto bar show. Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah, I gotta get some Hawaiian shirts. You do. Yeah, you know... You, that is the great privilege of the fat man, is that the, the amount of Hawaiian and bowling shirts available in fat sizes compared to thin sizes mm-hmm. is astronomical. I yeah. go to a Goodwill, and, like, if I'm looking for, like, a bowling shirt or a cool pattern shirt that, like, is zany, I got, like, three options in small. Right. Mm-hmm. In l- extra large, I'll see stuff all the time where I'm like, mm, I fucking wish I was this heavy that I could wear this. And for the first, you know... Five years I bought clothes. I didn't let that deter me and wore just comically oversized bowling I, shirts. I recall. What? I remember us piecing, us realizing that you dressed, at, at that time, you dressed exactly like Tony Soprano, only <laughs> rail thin. <laughs> yeah. It's just every day you were wearing like a bowling shirt and khakis. I went to his estate sale, yeah. <laughs> Why? Why is that? How come? How come skinny people don't bowl or enjoy vacations? You know, I think skinny. I think skinny people are like we. We think we can look good in anything, and so we explicitly stay away from the few things that like don't look good on anybody. But, but, but then, okay. So then, why do the fat people gravitate towards the Hawaiian and the bowlings? Because they're jolly. Yeah, they're they're jolly clothes. Those are fat jovial. people are jolly. They're jovial yeah. clothing. Yeah. I guess. The, I guess the bowling they're, is they're jovial. B- you're a big fat party animal. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think shirts. Homer says about those shirts. Mm-hmm. I guess. I guess really yeah. bowling is very like. There's like a very like Freudian young. Like the, the like the round ball knocking over the spelt pins, you're taking you're you're getting back at society. You are, yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> I mean, read Bowling Alone. Mm-hmm. You know, it's one of the f- uh, 
foremost uh, sociological works of the 20th century. It's a real book, Bowling Alone. Yeah, it's about how you got to bowl alone. Yeah, there you go. One sociologist listening to this, you didn't think I'd reference Bowling Alone on Coward Hour, huh? <laughs> Do I know anything about it? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> I know the name. I think it was written by a guy named Putnam, and we are out of facts about Bowling Alone. But <laughs> I've never, I, I've never enjoyed. I don't even get the appeal of bowling. I, I, I like bowling. I, I love like pizza, bowling. and I like playing. You know, big huck, bon- big buck hunter. But uh, Big Huck Hunter yeah. would be. <laughs> Big, <laughs> Big Huck, Huck Finn Hunter would be. <laughs> What's he hunting? <laughs> I I love bowling and I'm bad at it. I, I bowl. Uh, There's no way you can be good at bowling. Yeah, I don't what, have wrist what? strength at all. I, I actually bowl like this. I, I flick the ball forward instead of like doing the underhand thing. That's mm-hmm. the same as like. Is flicking it forward like a, a, an established like form? no 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 i mean i oh, so it's like sitting it, I you put, just found your way you put no spin on it by doing it that mm-hmm. way you can throw it totally straight which i think is bad actually you want to put spin you on it put but spin on it. when i put spin on it it's accidental so i'm like all right i'll completely avoid putting spin on it and also it doesn't hurt my arm as much to do mm-hmm. it this way so that's why yeah, every time chill. i bowl like when i start to do well it means that i'm like ergonomically destroying my wrist for days absolutely yes i, I dude i'm so the only thing that motivates me in bowling is i want to see the animations i want to see how the pins are going to be killed <laughs> <Yeah>. i want to <laughs> see yeah. i want to see how the fair pin comes out and curses the other pins. <laughs> that's such a great... Man, that's mm-hmm. a such a great cottage in- industry to be the people who do the animations for the bowling alleys. Dude, I wonder if that should even... Because I, I haven't been to a bowling alley in so long, I guarantee you if I went... I, like, I bet it's not even those same animations anymore. I think I think it is. Really? What, what else has changed in bowling alleys? Nothing. They don't change anything. Yeah, but it's like those... I don't. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. I went bowling pretty recently and they still had the same, like, fucking, like, you get a strike and then, like, fucking one bowling... Uh, the bowling ball is full of dynamite and all the bowling pins are like, oh, no, and they yeah. blow up. Yeah. I love, oh, do, I I like yeah, bowling I alleys are, like, one of the few, like, grandfathered in places where it's just, like, nationwide you can smoke here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is 1985 in here and we're yeah. not going to change it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you guys ever... They have galaxy bowling where you guys were, like, yeah. midnight bowling? They turn the phone. Mm. The fuck don't yeah, yeah. D- don't show up there if you've like recently been masturbating. If let's say you're 13 years old <laughs> <laughs> and you just started coming in your pants and you're like, wow, if my jeans are dark enough, nobody can tell. <laughs> like, that's the- then you go galaxy bowling. <laughs> yeah. And uh, everybody can tell. (laughs) 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 Looks like you were fucking painting a room in your house. (laughs) Well, the goal then is you just want to come evenly across the entire jeans. So it's less (laughs) noticeable. Yeah, I'm just like dabbing cum down the pants of my, like down the legs of my (laughs) pants. You you make stripes. It just looks like you're wearing like tracksuit pants. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the way like you go on Etsy and people do tie dye with like bleach. (laughs) i want to come tie-dye shirt and go to laser dome oh fuck dude (laughs) yeah maybe i'll go there's a because there was a bowling alley i bet it's reopened remember we went to a bowling alley when we first moved here we did yeah like the whole house did and uh it was i think it was near chinatown if i'm not mistaken right it was in a it was in a mall where everything was like chinese yes i've actually been to that bowling alley independently too with my like for a work excursion i went with them and then we also went with Tim and Kelly to like uh, one in Burbank or something when we lived here. Yeah, the, I think the, me and Tom went to the one in Burbank. But isn't that one like isn't that one like a chain? The one in Burbank. I like a good shitball bowling alley. No, like, I, I agree with you. Like there, one just opened up at Burbank called Round One, where like we we yeah. Victoria and I went and it was like a new bowling there, alley opened. Well, yeah, it's an arcade. It's Round an arcade. And uh-huh. it, has, like, it has bowling lanes, but it's like eight lanes. And like we we went and they're just like there's a three and a half hour wait for the bowling out al- bowling lanes, and we're like. This place is only open for two more hours. What do you mean there's a three and a half hour wait? <laughs> Round one, it's too... They, sometimes they get some cool imported shit in there, but mm-hmm. it's a little too sanitized an experience if you want like a fun like arcade bowling night. It's too, sure, yeah. a little too corporate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but, I, you know. I get you. Is it all like... Is it like newly made arcade cabinets or do they have like retro well, stuff? No, so it it's a lot of newly made stuff, but they do have some... It's funny because like they do have some imported like Japanese arcade cabinets from like the... Uh, I can't remember if it's in Kyoto or whatever, like like the Japanese style. Like there's Sega. a lot of weird Japanese. Like we went there, we, there was like a Japanese photo booth where like we thought it was yeah. a regular photo booth, and it's it filters. Just, yeah, it made our lips very red. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> just kept like it was like me and three other white people just kept anglicizing our features and giving us like big red lips, and we're just like, uh, this looks awful. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be so funny, you go into like a, a Japanese photo booth and they just print you guys out in blackface, and you're like, oh, I guess this is a cultural thing. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we can't throw it away that'd be <laughs> insulting <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Round one, round one's not my favorite, but uh, I, I've got a hankering to like go out now that everything's reopening and I'm vax. I got a hankering to like go out and like do something communal. Yeah, I'd love to bowl again. I we yeah we can't do it there. Uh, but I I used to do the bowling date a lot, like in L.A. I'd you take would take people bowling. on the bowling date. Yeah, it was a I terrible I've, decision. I've never done the bowling date. It's you ever so done a bad. Date? I well, you can't talk. You're always ten feet away from each other, you right? You're always getting that's up. bad. That's right. Yeah, that's that's part of why it's bad. And the other reason, like the one time I went with a girl, and I, she's like, "I'm bad at bowling." I'm like, don't worry, I'm bad too. And she was like, "No, really bad." At, she like bowled a twenty. <laughs> oh, and you're competitive. I'm. I mean, I you know, I was just like, you can sandbag a little, but you can't sandbag down to twenty because like, right? You invited her on the bowling date. She knows you're not going to bowl a twenty, mm-hmm. right? So like, Does I'd be, she couldn't do bumpers. Yeah, no bumpers. <laughs> yeah, I mean it wasn't. An yeah, it, it is. I don't like, remember. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Look at how you are. <laughs> well, that's that's why my, that's why me and my current partner get her along so well is because she never wants me to sandbag against her. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. It, I mean, it's funny to take a girl on a bowling date. She's like, I don't really like bowling, and then just absolutely demolish her. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a good bowler. I was like, I thought when she says like I'm bad at bowling, I'm like, all right, she's gonna bowl like a ninety or whatever, and she right. like rolled a twenty. I'm just like, oh, she can't even keep it in the, on the lane at all. But this is what I mean is like, this is still funny because you're still like, you're still like, I'm not even a good bowler, and this bitch sucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how that's how you're framing this story. <laughs> I mean, yes, <laughs> she was really bad. I don't, I, you, you can't sugarcoat it. You rolling a twenty is just you, Isaac, you, you can sugar, it's a for you can sugarcoat it. It's the first time I'm not dating yeah. this woman anymore. I don't have to sugarcoat it. Yeah, so how I, could how could he ask her out again after that just that horribly, pitiful display? I believe that was a, I believe that was a fifth date and it was the final date. It was yeah. the last date. Damn. I think a mutually agreed upon we're both like, Well this this clearly showed some. Had you gotten pussy by that point? No. Damn. Damn. We she, just we just kept doing excursions. Damn, five dates in. She definitely told her friend she was like, Yeah, I stopped seeing that guy because I just I wasn't worthy. Yeah, I didn't even come. Yeah, close. he he refused to fuck me. He kept taking me out to do kept, children's yeah, he, birthday he parties, t- <laughs> insisting we do like yeah children's birthday party activities yeah. instead of going to my place. I'm horny, and he he he's taking me to paintball. Yeah, he keeps <laughs> making me play pin the tail on the doggy. He, I just want him to fuck me. <laughs> I keep bumping into him at laser tag. He's like, stop. <laughs> you're you're bumping. You're gonna destroy the equipment. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I will not fuck you until you beat me in this game. <laughs> <laughs> fucking poor. I fucking have made my girlfriend play quiz bowl with me now. That's like that's how you know that it's a serious relationship. Is she fucking woke up at seven a.m. a couple weekends ago to play an online quiz bowl tournament wow, with me? Wow, she Damn, loves that's you. Love. Yeah, that's wild, dude. Yeah, she did good for her first time. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, but she, but but she could do better. Uh, well, you know, I when you. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he begins to answer is so funny. The fact that it's like it's like you just smirk and nod. You don't give me a serious analysis. When you you play quiz bowl for eight years, you get a certain uh, mm-hmm. intuition and ability to sort of read the question where the question's going. And as a first time player, you don't have that. You have to like really only rely entirely on your knowledge instead of like trying to sort of like sure. figure things out. Yeah, I was just being cute. Mm-hmm. I, I, <laughs> you know, I I take quiz bowl very seriously, uh, yeah, I, and 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 we all know. <laughs> yeah, man, I the quiz bowl. I'm that's a that's a skill that I'm jealous. I because I like I have a until you you'll run some quiz bowl questions by me mm-hmm. sometimes, and I've gotten like a pretty wide area of like I know a lot about a lot of things or a, a little too medium about a lot of things, mm-hmm. but the specificity of quiz bowl shit sure, yeah. is wild. Yeah, I mean, that's that was kind of my problem as a Quizzle player, too, is because I know a little about a lot of things. But then, like, Quizzle is just like, no, you need to know a lot about a lot of things mm-hmm. if you want to win. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, I, I'm never going to know a lot about anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, I, like, I just, like, why can't Quizzle... I wish there was a Quizzle category all about, like, uh, you know, low-poly draw distance in yeah. Nintendo 64 games. If Quizzle was somehow more autistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to qu- I want to toss up on mm-hmm. all the times Mario's hat is stolen from him in various <laughs> Mario games. <laughs> That's really what I need. We need, and and I do, I do believe that one day we'll get there. I you know I mean the, we played it with the tournament Victoria and I played was all pop culture and there were video game questions. <sighs> But get there was it. one around, so it wasn't that many. Oh, See, so give me an all video game quiz bowl, dude. There is that exists. I'll read it to you later if you want. Really? Yeah, it does. It does exist. Okay, people I, have written it. I, I, why? Why you? Sh- I, that would be fun. Why haven't you been giving me that one? You've been giving me the music ones. Because that's the one I've been playing. Give me the video game. <laughs> one. All right, fine. If you want to get me into this, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't know that was such a thing. Anyway. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, we we should do Coward Hour Quiz Bowl, and it's all questions about like uh, different domestic terrorists. Oh, I, I yeah. thought you were gonna say questions about us. I, yeah, I can I can write a Jeopardy board for you guys. Yeah, come yeah. back on sometime with just like a Jeopardy board that's just like epithets. <laughs> 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 Your categories are epithets. What, <laughs> what did Ted Kaczynski put in the logging equipment? <laughs> <laughs> Sand. <laughs> uh, personality disorders common in women. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> now, I would. I, I was thinking. I thought you meant like to do like a um, like a coward hour themed. I would love to do like a coward hour themed quiz bowl, like us versus like listeners, and we just get absolutely demolished <laughs> because they, <laughs> they know, know more so, about you. Yeah, they know so much more about us than I even care. Yeah, about yeah. Who was myself. the guest? I've forgotten on... most of the stories I've told on here. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Who was the guest on episode twenty three? And you're like. <sighs> Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Did we even post that one? Was that one of the non-posted ones? <laughs> yeah, they've got, like, banned episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah, that would be a nightmare. Yeah, I need... To, I, I've, I, got, I, should, I should get into some kind of, like, extracurricular activity to keep my mind sharp like that. I just have nothing. Other, I just, it's just other than just, like, watching YouTube videos until, sure, like, 3 but that keeps, that keeps your mind sharp. I huh? guess it does keep my mind sharp. On some level, yeah. But in areas that are completely useless. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. You I know. know every SCP. I know every SCP. <laughs> what is an SCP? Sorry. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's this, it's this creepypasta. It's so fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. It's a creepypasta. Do you know what creepypasta is? Yeah. It's these like things online mm -hmm. about this facility. Is there still creepypasta? There, oh, there's so yeah. much creepypasta. Some of it, there's some creepypasta. I guess 4chan is still around, right? Yeah, the boards are. Mm -hmm. Some creepypasta is so popular that it's just been like... Uh, it's just a part of like actual Japanese folklore now. <laughs> Apparently, like, it's, just been, it's just been like I inducted into like uh, mm -hmm. you know right along with kappas and fucking you know. Do kids still Alibara. like uh, believe in Slender Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, those two those two girls believed in him so much that they did some shit about it. Yeah, <laughs> <Remember> <laughs> those kids are older now, though. Maybe maybe it's not like Slender Man is not part of the new generation. You know, and these like fucking twenty year olds are like, man, in my day we killed kids for Slender Man. Now these kids, <laughs> I don't even respect Slender Man. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I wonder what the new thing is. Because you're right. Slender Man definitely was like, at this point, sl the Marble Hornets was like over 10 years ago. Yeah, I'm going to teach my kids. Um, Slender Man's going to be in the mix with Santa and the Easter Bunny, for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, you have to. See, that's what we don't have in America. And like every other country, like hand in hand with the jolly um, elemental, you know, gift bringers, they have the... You have your bell schnickel, your... Right, Krampus, all this. Yeah. They've got the ones that dole out punishment and fear, which mm -hmm. we need. Yeah, truly. Not enough fear in this country. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's probably some TikTok shit. Like, I, you, you look at fucking oh, entertainment you... for children now, and it's just on, online is so dire. It's so bad. No, wait. Have you seen? You're right. It is TikTok shit. Have you seen this series? There's a bunch of people doing this on TikTok. There's this, I forget what the TikTok is called. I th like, I think the account is called like, I am alone or is anybody there? This guy who claims that he's making TikToks from like the year 2026. He just woke up in Spain and he's in Spain and nobody's there. And it's these videos of him on his phone and he's walking through Spain in the middle of the day and nobody's there. People are like, how the fuck is he doing this? He literally has one where he walks through an airport it's an airport he's like nobody's here i woke up i'm alone i'm in the year 2026 how can you guys see this and everybody's like how is he making these videos this is like mm -hmm. it's not like it's like it's a fucking airport he's like walking through the tsa line where there's like which you can't do <laughs> there's no way to set that up yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. you know so you're right it is probably some wild shit on tiktok mm, yeah Look up those videos. They're that sounds crazy. cool. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I'm very, very curious about that. That sounds yeah. like viral marketing, though. I'm kind of worried that it's going to be end up. I mean, being sixty like minutes just yeah. confirmed aliens. So I, I, I was, dude. Last night I called. There's a, there's a time difference between me and my girlfriend, and I like called her. I was like, baby, aliens are real. Woo! I was like, <laughs> spotted off the coast of Virginia Beach. Yeah, like, I was so excited. It's either aliens or real, or this is like a very wild like psyop. Um, a true, sure. Yeah, I saw a theory. It's like. Uh, cause I saw this and my first instinct was like, I don't care about my taxes going to the military anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, <laughs> like if, if, if aliens are just going to like be here, it's like, all right, we can have some missiles. Right. I'll, I'll pay for them. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I see what you're saying. They're like, aliens are real. And, uh, wouldn't you like some Israeli iron domes maybe <laughs> to fight the aliens? Hmm, maybe we're good. <laughs> so it could be a psyop to get people like, yes, 
build missiles, right. please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's complicated because apparently the, the part of the whole reason why this information is being declassified is because the Pentagon, like, I guess their budget was under review, like, last year, and they were like, why the fuck are you spending so much money on UFO research with that? And, like, you haven't told us at all what it's going to. So I think there was, like, they had to declassify it mm-hmm. to, like, or else they wouldn't get the budget again. There's, there's, I was reading something about that. That's fair. But yeah, I was watching, dude, like, because normally every time you see a fucking, like, UFO video, even the ones that are released, it's, like, infrared footage or, like, black and white. Mm-hmm. But then the, the, they show one in that 60 Minutes thing where he, like, just took a regular picture, like, in HD out of his cockpit. And you're like, damn, that's just a, a chrome sphere floating <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. It was even crazier. It was like, it's like, and it disappeared and a different radar picked it up 60 miles away, like a second later. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> but the other thing is like, so are they going to do some shit or are they just like enjoying watching, you know? Yeah. 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 I, uh, well, I, I went, um, I, I have this bad habit where it's like, it'll be like 2 a.m. I'll be like, oh, let's go to sleep. And then I just start Googling and I'm like looking up theories and, uh, oh God. And I read this one that I found very compelling that, um, Grays are evolved humans in the future, and UFOs are like time traveling humans. Yeah, I've read this. I've read the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The tall, but here's the thing: tall grays. Isaac, I'm so glad you're here for this episode. <laughs> Isaac, <laughs> Isaac, who's by he's like the middle of the evolutionary chart from like <laughs> contemporary man to tall gray. This is the guy right here. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. You know about tall grays? No. Like you're, you know you're, tall grays. They're the standard tall the standard, standard alien. alien. Yeah. 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 You know, the, and I'm excited for us to evolve past having genitals. That's right. That's my favorite I'm sure part you are. I yeah, think I'm going to miss genitals. <laughs> <laughs> I, for one, will miss my balls. <laughs> it's actually, it's funny that you're excited about that because that's like your least favorite thing when people do it now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have no problem with people doing whatever they want to do. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, but, also, uh, I'm goofing around. Please, no one take my dick. <laughs> I have so little dick already. I can't what? lose more. You're not using it. <laughs> I am using it. Wouldn't you like a smooth flap? Wouldn't that be so much less to worry about? Wouldn't, wouldn't I like you, a nice little tab? Like, wouldn't you like to just send thoughts from your 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 pelvis towards your partner? Yeah, imagine if you and your partner you just both had like genderless flaps that you like that could send nice emotion towards. They just one scream other. at each other. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, the it, flap it just comes open and it's just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just shoot sonar at your wife's not pussy. <laughs> no, the tall guy, highly intelligent, I, but I think traditionally characterized as sinister, which is why that's an interesting theory that they're just here to observe. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't, the tall grays, you got to be careful with the tall grays. Dude, I can't wait for the fucking inevitable Coen Brothers movie where it's just like a bunch of Pentagon officials like, we got to make up aliens, really. They're going to cut our budget. We got to just like fucking figure out how to make up some aliens, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen, there's a great, like my favorite Coen Brothers brother's alien moment is in have you ever seen the man who wasn't there Mm -mm. where billy bob thornton he gets framed for a murder that he didn't commit and he's just kind of like what like he like it it proceeds far enough that he gets sentenced to death row basically Mm -hmm. and the whole in coen brothers fashion he's just like ugh He's like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> and the very last shot of the movie is like, he's in prison, he's going to be killed, and he looks out like the, he's in the yard, or he looks out the bars of his cell, and he just sees a UFO in the sky, and he's like, ugh. <laughs> and then like, that's the end of the movie. <laughs> That that's how that's that that like as excited as I get, I know that if I'm excited right now because like we're in the like we're in the unraveling the mystery phase, but I'm gonna be so upset when like the aliens are here and it's just blase. You know what I mean? Oh, of course, yeah. It's it's gonna be like from season one of Lost to season six of Lost. You're like, ah, oh, the mystery was so much better. I thought there was gonna be bigger answers than this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me they're just fucking aliens the whole time? The whole time they're aliens. Yeah, they're just they're just <laughs> talking to us. They're trying to contact us. Aliens get out of the fucking so, UFO. So, they're like, this is a message for the vehicle owner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aliens are just bothering us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll be curious to see how that yeah, what is out. What is your best theory? Do you think a- ancient alien shit? Uh, I mean, it's hard because there's so many... I mean, this is where... I have to be careful, okay? Because... Mm-hmm. Lord knows I've deep dived into all this stuff, and Lord knows Alex Jones is always right about more things every day. Human monkey hybrids, the U.S. and China have collaborated to create them. Sorry, it was in USA Today. What can I say? Um, 
I'm not as crazy as initially thought. Have you read about this? The human monkey embry- embryo I have, hybrids? I have not. They say that they're creating them so that it, it'll make uh, organ transplants easier so that they don't oh. have to like harvest them from, oh, okay. harvest them closely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I wonder if those go to heaven. Uh, no, if they do, heaven's going to be a fucking bummer. <laughs> yeah, you get there. It's on a cloud next to this thing that's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kill me. I'm like, I can't. We're already here. We're, We're already dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that like, you know, it's like, have you ever like been to like a natural history museum and like seen like the weird like Mayan sculptures of astronauts and you're like, what is this? Yeah. yeah. Why were they carving this? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I, you know, I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a uh, fucking, uh, one of those, I fucking love science skeptic people. I'm like, ah, there's probably some boring explanation. It's just, they were, they're playing the Mayan hoop game and the hoop fell on the guy's head and that's what the astronaut That doesn't make is. any sense. The hoop is a, it's a, it's, a it's circle. made of stone. Yeah, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't that's fall a drawing, on his head like it's a, a bubble. drawing, yeah. It, no, it, it crushed his head and replaced it. Dude, there's literally this, there's <laughs> literally this like Aztec sculpture of what looks like a dude blasting off on a jetpack, And you're like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what were these boys up to? <laughs> so i don't know i yeah. I'm, I'm that is pretty sick though if like aliens came once and mayan culture was what they saw and they're like <laughs> well these boys are wild <laughs> yeah you they're just... playing head soccer <laughs> <laughs> shit dude we gotta get out of here hey here's some jetpacks for your head soccer and i can play it in the sky <laughs> <laughs> yeah the aliens like give them the equation for like uh, uh what what are you perpetual motion machines like universal energy just hard cut to the head rolling down 200 stairs yeah <laughs> yeah they still do human sacrifice yeah just the alien head they're bummed because it doesn't roll well <laughs> it's like a football yeah. <laughs> damn Neil Young was right what did Cortez take from us you know dude that's right well that's why and I was just reading this fucking um, that really smart uh, scientist the one who is <laughs> Asian with white hair you know who it is uh, he's the famously Asian with white hair scientist Francis Fukuyama I think so. And now he's like a historian. I don't know who you're talking he's about. He's a scientist. He okay. was saying, he was like, we should not contact aliens. He was like, look at Montezuma and Cortez. He's like, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, is that the sense. aliens are Montezuma and Cortez? Or we're, we're, Mont- wait, we're Montezuma. Hold on. The aliens um, are Cortez. Fuck. What's his name? Because uh, not Asian at all. The guy with like the palsy or whatever. Stephen Hawking? Stephen Hawking said that. Did he also say that? Yeah. So is this guy copying? He's copying. <laughs> he's that, you can't, oh my it's god! Not, you caught him, Nick. <laughs> How deeply dishonorable in this day and age, dude. <laughs> but I guess Stephen Hawking's. But I guess the whole thing is Stephen Hawking's been canceled for being like a sex pervert or whatever. He's also dead, so. But was a sex pervert, so yeah, let's he was not, a pervert, yeah. Death doesn't erase all crimes. All right. <laughs> we we're we're retroactively applying his work to just like someone with even worse palsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just dude, like a vegetable in a chair. They're like, all right, congratulations, you you created Hawking radiation. I just found out today. I didn't realize this because it was after Eli- and we'll we'll switch over we'll switch yeah, we over the bonus in a second over. but this is the last thing I'll say because uh, Elon Musk was on SNL claiming to be the first host with Asperger's which have we f- we're so quick to forget Dan Aykroyd right <laughs> um, but I didn't realize that like people on the autism spectrum don't say Asperger's anymore because Hans Asperger was like a he was a Nazi he was supporter a Nazi, yeah. he was oh cool. really yeah like he's so. Whatever the uh, the diagnosis that he developed, which I think like there was he there was regular autistic psychosis he called it, and then there was and then there was uh, autism that was a little better at like more subtle, better hiding stuff, which was like the Asperger's diagnosis. He did that so that he, they could better discern who to ship off to these fucking like hospitals where they would euthanize them. Damn. So it's weird that we still. Yeah, I guess that, after him. I, that makes sense because I've heard that now it's just viewed as a spectrum and it's not like you classify it different ways. It's just so funny that we named it after like. A famous well, we Nazi. Didn't, we didn't. He named it after himself. <laughs> right, but then we get we get <laughs> we going went with along it. with it. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> if, if we had to throw away all Nazi science contributions, yeah. we'd be there'd be a huge chunk of that science. That would be funny if he was like, "Well, we can't really. name this after a Nazi," meaning himself. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think the U.S. space program is? It's Nazis. It's yeah, Nazis yeah. all the way down. Uh, but it wasn't. But it was at least post Third Reich. You know, this but was. But they during, were Nazis. Yeah, no, I know. But what I'm saying is, it's so crazy. That, like, <laughs> like, hey, we like to give people a second chance. They were totally exonerated. Total exoneration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, anyway, what I don't know, I don't know why I'm bringing that up. But, All right, uh, yeah, should we'll we switch uh, over to the bonus. Should we wrap it up? Yeah, no, let's right, let's yeah. wrap, let's switch. Yeah, over. let's let's stop. And, let's take do a break. We, for do a we second. not like uh, do some oh, plugs? Yeah, yeah, you want to do some plugs? 
uh, watch my video on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video of me uh, in my house that soon I will not live in, which will be great. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, it's just, you know, I mean, trying to sell you on a wealth seminar that doesn't exist. It's, you know. Tell I, them how to get to the video. Uh, you look up Isaac Hirsch on YouTube. And <laughs> it, should, it should be there. We can put it in the description. Oh, of the yeah, episode. that'd be great. That'd yeah, be yeah. perfect. Sick. All right, that's it. Uh, that's it. Bye. See you guys. Knock, knock, open up, it's me, the crazy, shady, faded fucker, so rock the G's. I'll see you later, make a baby, lead her on in peace. Only time I give a fuck is for, for my, my own, own release. release. That's why I own these streets. Straight up, portfolio, showing growth, fuck a pay cut. Yeah, you know I stay slut. Catch me in the spot, moving up for the self-suck.